What up tubers and welcome back to On The Fly TV with me, your host Pot Belly Papa. Great news, I didn't think the Grandmaster update would be uh, allowed on the current tier that was going through, but it did. Last 30 minutes it switched over to um, being upgraded to the Grandmaster, so I was upgraded and then boom, promoted to Grandmaster tier, beautiful. So we'll have a look at this and see what we've got going on. So we'll, uh, okay, got some decent stuff. Um, I might upgrade those later. I don't think there's anything. Uh, I'll check that out. But I don't think there's anything on. Uh, anything that's going to help me, if you know. Um. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So um, th there's some stuff in there that I, I, I can change around with different settings, especially when it comes to time trials and stuff like that. I've noticed that picking a lesser bike that's got um, a more culminated version of, or, or, or a, a more sort of equal. Um, statistics across the board is a lot better than something that's got one better than the other. Uh, more so for things like the forest level, uh, the canyons, um, and uh, and then we well, should have some new levels on the Grandmaster tier. So, okay, so we need to log a time to be able to get up on the board. We've got two days, twenty hours left on this bad boy. So we need to crack in there, really. I don't know, I don't know what that gold crate is. It's a bit, bit of a beastie crate for the top five. Oh, okay, so I need to do some of these. Let's crack on with some of these first. I need to do every single one. So we've got time trial and forest. We've got championship. Is that forest as well? We've got slope style and canyons. Oh, we'll crack on with some of those then. Oh, get on with that. Stop. Might as well do that. Um, yeah, so it's... Um, so apart from that one delay, I'll get some tricks on. All right, let's see where we're going with these. Oh, these are going to be a bit tight, I think. Just, just. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Oh, I don't know. Pre-selected tricks are staying just in, so... Oh, this one's going to be a bit low. We should be able to do that. Ooh! Oh, we got it, we got it. Let's get down here. Ooh! Just in, nice. Oh, come on, man. Alright, okay, well we'll get three free attempts and I've got a, a, a buttload of tickets, so that's pretty cool. So we'll, we'll come back and do that another time. I just need to log some times down and some points. So that's the whole point. So yeah, as, uh, I'll go back to what I was saying. Um, uh, I was in the Master Seer twice. Um, uh, I should have got promoted from the Master Seer the first time. Grandmaster, that's when I did the video previously. So I uh, looked through the play playlist. Um, I can't remember if there's anything important I said on that, but who knows. Um, yeah, and it seemed it was locked off. So it was... I think two days after I posted the video, there was an in-game message, and um, they were saying that Grandmaster T was going to be available. So um, I was fighting it out with a German, I think, called Daniel. Um, he was really trying to hunt me down for first position, but I just weren't going to have any of that. Um, albeit they was running faster bikes than I were, I was just using, I was just better skilled than they were, and I, I was able to get the speed that I needed from my pumps and from the hills and from the corners and things like that. So, um, they had faster bikes than I did, but I was able to beat their times just by, just by using the skill and, uh, and the tracks to my advantage. So, I, I was pretty grateful for that, and I, wasn't, uh, I lost a couple of points here and there, but I was pretty much gaining points. I went from 2,000 and something points up to nearly 2,400, so that's really boosted me up, especially when Grandmaster became available last night. And I was like, sweet, hopefully that will put me in a good stead um, to not being in a demoted tier. So a Grandmaster tier is the highest. Um, ideally, you want to be in the top five because it looks like the rewards are going to be absolutely banging. But if not, I'll quite happily stay in the middle ground. Um, the game primarily relies heavily on, especially these speed runs, um, it, having a fast bike with um, um, the, the non-pedaling speed. Um, like the uh, just the rolling speed, having having a, a, high, a low resistance on that helps a lot. Um, if not, then you really have to just get all the speed you can out of every single hill, jump, um, corner, straight that you possibly can. Um, I might do some videos on that if, if that's something that people want to see. And then um, and then I can oh new track. Let's crack on with this. Cool, he's pretty quick. It's the first time I've done this track, it's really weird. Okay, pedal, pedal, pedal. 
No, he's rolling speed, so he's high speed, his top speed's pretty high as well. Okay, we'll, we'll have a time, I'll come back and... Every time you jump up a tier, you just get these new tracks. And you lay down your new personal bests, and then it's just a case of trying to beat there. He's an old favourite of mine. Maybe I shouldn't have played when I was so bleary-eyed, but hey-ho. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, as ever, guys, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And um, if, if you want to get the content as and when it's released, press the notification bell. And uh, like I say before, if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, you'd like me to research or have a look at, or if there's anything you, you'd like to see me do, then please leave a comment in the section below. Nice. Oh, sweet. Beat me in time as well. Have that. So I'll just get through these and then I'll jump back into the Grandmaster tier and I'll, I'll put a time down and see where we come on the leaderboard. It'd be nice if I can stay up in the running. I don't really want to compete with spenders and I'm kind of hoping that the top 20 of the, the top 20 or the top 25 of the leaderboard isn't just going to be dominated by spenders because that it would just pri primarily be a Grandmaster tier for people that spend money. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Um, if it did sort of things like that make me put games down but um, we'll see, we'll see because there isn't a lot of spaces up in the tiers you see I think it's the top 20 you get to stay in the top 5 get promoted um, I think the 20 under that get to stay in and then the, anyone under that gets demoted and I think there's only about 25 or 30 people in each tier I'm not 100% sure on that just by what it, what it looks like but I'll have a look, I'll have a look more in depth at it and um, I thought it was going to be faster on that not we beat him, so it's nonetheless. Loving my new mask and my new goggles. I've got the goggly eye goggles, they're pretty funny. I've got my new trainers and my weird coat, that which I got from the Season 1 rewards um, after I got the Season Pass for a 1,000 uh, thousand Obtainium. Um, you don't have to upgrade every part. I like to upgrade every part, or when I can. Um, it, it's very gold intensive. Um, so you have to watch that. Always make sure, first off, primarily you want to upgrade parts that are, that are going to um, make your bikes better. Okay, Not all the parts make your bikes better, but there are some parts that don't make your bikes better, but make your bike better. Oh, I'll say that three times fast. Make your bike better, make your bike better, make your bike better. But, but there are some... Having a lesser bike can sometimes help you out more on certain tracks than having a better bike. Um, when it comes to the tier races, the ranked races, it's hard because some races could primarily deal with speed or they could be the opposite and, and deal with um, uh, like your bike treads for your pumps or, or, or your, or, or your pedalling speed. So it's a bit hard to judge that. Oh, I'll set a new world record too. Nice. Uh, a personal best, sorry. Um, but uh, that will come into its own when it comes to things like championship and time trials because because there'll be a set track you should know like okay forest it's, it's it's more about rolling speed it's more about tread it's more about stamina so therefore I would knock off some hot top speed and set up a bike that that, that deals with those three um, if you're in uh, like the uh, the British maps and like the rolling country signs they'll primarily deal with speed and um, so obviously having the tread, having maybe stamina is pretty good for some of the big ones, but speed, tread, definitely the two. Rolling speed, not so much, because normally the, a lot of the downhill jumps are off of, uh, are going downhill when you land. So as long as you land those right and you can pump out, you're pretty sweet on that. Um, you've got the tracks in between, like the urban tracks, very, very, um, very, very peddly. Um, but there's also a couple of mixed high speed sections and, and, and a couple of sections that you could really do with rolling. Um, knowing how to knowing how to and when to pump is going to help you guys out. Um, from my experience of playing the game, it's just finding every little piece of the track where I can just score that little, little bit of extra speed. The stars help a lot. You could be rolling down a flat and you'll see the stars pop up even though your finger's down on the trigger, um, on the screen, sorry. And that's just letting you know that that section was a section that you could have pumped. Um, 
releasing too early or releasing too late on, on, a, on a hill, especially a big hill that requires pedaling. Again, the stars tend to give you a rough idea of, of, of when the trigger points are, so pay attention to those and it, and it should improve your game. Okay, what we got here? Okay, so there's only me and some other dude. And I've got, I've got some nice points there, so I'm kind of hoping that... I mean, that I, oh, I am going to find people. So anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave the video there and I'll crack on with some more and I'll, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.